certainly. Did you at that time see the defendant, Miss Gail Tempest, in any way, shape, or form, commit or try to commit bodily harm to the deceased Kirk Robin? I object, Your Honor. Counsel is trying to lead the witness. Objection sustained. Hmm. Mr. Howard, did you see Miss Gail Tempest in physical fight with Kirk Robin? If it pleases the court, may I suggest that counsel be instructed to allow the witness to testify to what he saw? I say, Jasper, uh, what comes after 75? 76. That's the spirit. <laughs> Request granted. Proceed with the testimony. Mr. Howard, kindly tell the court what you know about the murder of Kirk Robin. Well, it was like this, Mr. Court. Address the judge as your honor. Well, it was like this, my honor. Your honor, not my honor. Why? Don't you like him? Allow the witness to proceed. The court understands him. Thanks, Court. You're a pal. Well, me and my pals, we're musicians. We were tearing up some hot swing music in the orchestra. Gail over there was swinging the fans. Her sweetie, Kirk Robin, was inhaling a bottle of hooch at a table. And a hoofer by the name of Buck Wing was getting ready to shake his tootsies. Kindly speak English and drop the vernacular. Vernacular? That's a doiby. Drop the vernacular. No, oh, no, not that. Talk so the jury can understand. Is everybody dumb? Say, Judgey, if you let me, my partner, and Gailey kind of act it out for you, we'll show you just what happened. If counsel doesn't object, that's an excellent idea. No objections. No objections. No objections. <laughs> okay, Gailey. Over by the parrot cage. What were they arguing about? I don't know. But Buckwing was sizzling like a hot hamburger. 
He grabs Kirk by the neck like that. Really? And drags him over to the letter press. Ah. See? <laughs> then he smacks him on the head like that. Ah. Then he pokes his coconut into the letter press. See, like that. Then he says, I'll squeeze the cider out of your Adam's apple. Then he gives him the works like this. <laughs> instrument of destruction. See, there was nothing in it. <laughs> Broad Lane, 9972, after five o'clock. Wait a minute, I'll have to tie a knot there. 
have a little bow and arrow. Don't try to find me as I'm shuffling off the buffalo. Sign, Buck Wee. Oh, oh, Just a second now. <clears throat> now, ready? Hold it.